Have you been looking for a way to make your presentations interactive or even gamify them? Let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is get you a blank presentation. So you're going to set up your first page. Um, we're going to do this very simple because we're just going to learn techniques. So I'm going to put here and match the word to the color. So whatever you want to do for whatever kind of test you're going to do, we'll just do that. So if you're going to do something kind of plain and simple like that, and you want the whole page to be clickable, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over into my elements. I am going to grab a square. I'm going to make sure the position of my square is on top. So always make it sure it's in the front. We're going to change that to transparent. And then we're going to take that box and we are just going to put it over the complete thing. So all this space turns into clickable space now because oh, when you hyperlink, I'm going to hyperlink that square. So now we're going to make our second one, which would be our color. We're just going to grab another text box real quick. And I am going to put the word blue because we're just making this really simple for you guys to learn technique. So, and then we'll just grab an element. Let's grab the shoes. I already have a blue pair and we're going to duplicate that and make four pairs of shoes, put them however you want to on the page. They can be anywhere. And I'm sure y'all are going to make these things gorgeous, but we are just doing technique. So uh, let's make those purple, purple. We're going to do a green pair, green pair and a red pair. Okay, so I got my first page set up. That's blue. Um, oh, we'll do a, like a question. Um, uh, let's go and do a question one. So we'll do a question. Um, what is an animal? Okay, so we have our question here. And then oh, what I would do is there's two things you can do for the question. So we're going to say a pig. Let's put this as, oh, which one is an animal? Which one is an animal? All right. So we got a pig. We'll duplicate here. We're going to, oh. So what I would do with this, if you wanted a background, I would go into effects and use this little background thing right here and make it whatever way, whatever shape you want to big rounded square. We'll give it a little bit of roundness, change the color. I like the blue here and we'll just do it that way. Let's get rid of that one. We'll just duplicate this. And if you let's, we're going to duplicate this and say, this is a tree. And I want my pig kind of look better, more match my tree. So I'm just going to. Oh, why don't I just push enter? Goofy. Um, I want a space. And then you can kind of use the space to kind of make them more, look more even. Get rid of that space at the bottom there. Like so. And so they look a little more even. But if you want to use. So let's duplicate this and let's get rid of the effects real quick and put none. Let's get this long thing out of the way. And shorten these up too. Shorten these up. Short shorts. Because when we, we don't want accidentally hitting the wrong one when we're hyperlinking these things. So say you want to use an actual box or let's just... Uh, Let's grab a shape. So let's say you want to use this. You want that behind here. So position that's behind your tree. Say you want something like this. You don't want to group those together because if you see here and you group, group it, 
and then you go over here, there's no way to link it. So it has to be ungrouped. So when you link, you're going to have to link both of these items together. So you're, I mean, like individually. So you would link this one and link this one because if somebody goes, if they're on a tablet or something where they're actually using their finger, you want to make sure that if they press here, they're going to actually move because they didn't put, press the word, if you know what I'm saying. So that's why you would want to put the link on both of those. So what we're going to do, we're just going to make this one as a quickie one right here. And, and now that we have this, what we want to do now is I am going to put, uh, let's add a heading and we're just going to put correct. Now you can make these all nice and fancy, but we're doing really simple just for technique. And I am going to put one that says wrong here. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up in here. You can make out all your pages. And then what you want to do is just duplicate these and put these where you need another one. So I'll duplicate that and then I'll put wrong. So you want to correct and wrong behind each one of them or whatever you want to do here. So then you're going to line them all up. I am going to make an extra page at the end just so when I show technique, that's what I'm going to use. So now that I got everything up, you're going to get my slide, correct and wrong, correct and wrong. Let's go back to our design. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick a little something in there just to make it have something there at the end one. So now the fun begins. So you got them all set up. You got all your slides set up. Now you want to start linking stuff. So you can go through and name your pages if it's going to make it easier for you. Um, I'm not for this, but if you need to name your page, you can go up here and just add a title to like, you can put a uh, title, like the title page. And you can like go here and change this one to blue or, or whatever I just spelled blue. And then like this one, you can put correct. Blue. Look at me spelling all wrong. See blue. I'm not doing very well in my blue. And W blue. The way you can do. And then you can just like it if you want to. That's just up to you or if you can keep a hold of them. So let's go and start doing our linking. Our linking. Not as Abraham Lincoln. All right, so I want to go here. Make sure you're on the square because you want this whole page clickable. I'm going to link this to page two, to number two, which is blue. And I'm going to link it here. And it'll show you right here where it's linked to. Okay, now I'm going to go to this page. I know this one is wrong, so I'm going to go and link this item to my wrong one, which is four. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to link that to four. This one is wrong. I'm going to come down to link right here. And then I am going to put this into four, which is wrong. I'm going to go and I'm going to link the next one into four because that's wrong. Done. And I'm going to go and link this one to three because that is correct. So I'm going to go through real quick and I'm going to check this wrong, wrong, wrong. Correct. All right. Now, what I want to do with my correct one. Oh, I did not put a bubble on it. So let me go grab real quick. I want to grab this square because I want this whole page clickable. Let's go and make this real quick. I'm going to go into position, put that on top, change it invisible. And now I have my square. That's what I want to link. So uh, let's go and link that up. So I'm going to take the link and when it's correct, I want it to go to the next question. So I'm going to put that to five, which is my next question, which it did not, it should show five. So let's go again and do five. All right. It's not doing it. Come on, Mr. Canva or Mrs. Canva or Whatever you want to be, Canva. All right, let's do five. All right, there we go. It took. There it goes. Now it's linked to five. 
We want to do the same thing with here. I didn't do that, so let's go add one of these real quick. Burp, burp. Come on, come on. Transparent position. Make sure it is on top. And then uh, maybe it likes for you to click out of it. Here, let's try it that way. And then we're going to link this. You want to link it back to that because if they get it wrong, they get to go back and try again. So we want to go back to page two. Yes, that's linked to two. So now we're going to go to our next slide. Do the same. Which one is an animal? That is correct. So what I want to do is go here. I want to link this over here to a number six because that is correct. I want to go and I'm going to link this one to a number seven because it is wrong. I am going to link uh, this text box to seven because it's wrong. And I'm also, because I have something behind it, I am going to link this one to seven, which is wrong. Then you're going to do the same like you did the other ones because I forgot to put the squares on there. We'll just put the square on there real quick, like so. Make it transparent. Go into position. Make sure it is on top. Click out of it because I think that way it links easier. Let's see if the link will take. And it's correct. So I want to go to page eight, which would be our next question if we had one there. All right. So now that we got that one right, uh, this one doesn't have a square either. So let's do that real quick. Uh, transparent position on top. On top. Come on. There you go. All right. Now that it's on top, let's click out of it because it seems like it'll link easier that way. And what I'm going to do is back that up to five and done. So now that you got everything done and linked together, you can go into present. Hold on, let's hit page one. Go into present. Now that we're in here, what we are going to do is you can go here. Look, click blue. No, let's go wrong. It goes back. That's wrong. It goes back. That's wrong. It goes back to that page. That is correct goes to the next one. Ah, we're going to discuss this when we go back here too. All right. So this one right here is tree is wrong. This tree is wrong. Pig is right. And it took us to the, the page eight that we made. So let's get out of here real quick. And I, because I forgot to tell y'all that. So if you noticed when I linked hyperlink these, they underlined them. I don't know why it does it. All you got to do is kind of click and hit that. And if you added the spaces, sometimes it'll leave that space there and just click on them and get rid of that underline. I don't know why it does that when you hyperlink it. If you like the underline, keep the underline. If you don't, take the underline off. So that's just the one little thing right there that I forgot to kind of mention there. And you can send the link out to anybody and they don't even have to have a Canva account and they can use this as a game. You can put it on your kid's tablet. You can do ABCs, one, two, threes, all kinds of stuff. It, it's so many possibilities you can do with this and it's just easy peasy. Well, not really, it'll take a while to make a really nice size one, but once you get it down, it really doesn't take long once you make your initial cards. But that's how you do that. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you're on my Facebook, you know, hit me up in my DMs. We'll walk you through it. I love you guys. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.